In this class, we are going to learn about one more concept which is launched exclusively with Oracle Integration 3 that is projects. Projects are nothing but like a workspace where you can define the integration components exclusively for one of the project implementation. Like suppose you are building a project for a Salesforce integration or for OTM integration and so on and so forth things. Then you might be building n number of integration and related components like the connections, lookups, JavaScript functions. Then everything you can club under a single common workspace or a resource that is known as a project. Now before going ahead with your hands on and learn what is project, let's now quickly walk through the documentation page. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle on using integrations in Oracle Integration 3. You can design, manage and monitor integration from a single self-contained workspace known as a project. As I told, projects are like a workspace. Whatever integration and related components you create within the project will be available exclusively within your project itself. There is contrary to this. You can invoke the integrations available in some other projects as well as the global integrations as well. When I say global integrations, it means whatever you have created within this design is known as a globally available integrations. Whatever integrations you have created within the project, it will be exclusively available within the project. You cannot find in the global integrations. We will see both the things in this class. Oracle has documented each and every concept related to management and the designing of the project. You can have a look over here. So we will see in brief how we can work with the projects. Whatever we have learned so far in this course related to the design, we can use similar thing in a project as well. Now in order to create a project, we have to click on this navigation menu. If this is hidden in your case, just go to click projects. Currently my integration instance is a fresh integration. I don't have any projects created previously. Now I will click on this add and click on the create. Also you can import a project with the help of .car file as well. Now here I am going to name this as first project but you might be creating a project for OTM integration, Salesforce, ServiceNow. There might be n number of business use cases where you will be creating a project for. Now once you populate all the details click on this create. Project has been created. If you want to modify any details you can just click on this edit and you can provide the details. Now here if you see we are having a separate section to create a connection, integration, lookups and the library. And also there is observability over here and the deploy button and the design button. You can have a look at all those things. Now first of all I will create a connection. Click on this add. I will create a REST trigger connection. Let me name this as the REST trigger. And I want this as a trigger only. Click on create. You might create a connection, any connection like how we have created in a globally available connections. Now similar like that we can create the connections and the integrations over here as well. Now I have created a connection that is rest underscore trigger. Now let me create one integration. Click on this add. Click on this create. Click on application. Now here I will name this as project int first. Click on this create. Click on this plus and comes in our rest trigger. Now let me just name this something random. Here I will name this as test. I want get, I want a message back. This is just for demonstration purpose I am creating. So in the response I will populate a sample JSON over here. Let me provide the JSON. I want a message back. Done, click on OK, click on Next and click on Done. Now quickly I will update the mapper, create a target node over here. I will write some dummy message like success or something, click on Validate, Validate the mapper, go back. Like how we create integration in a global integration, similar like that, we will get a canvas in order to build the integration. So here also you can build n number of complex logic in order to solve your business requirements. I will quickly add the business identifier over here, once then click on save, go back. I will activate this integration, click on this activate in the debug mode. 
similar like this you can create the lookups and the libraries or the javascript functions over here by clicking on the add let me just refresh there is a refresh button on the right top corner over here now if you want to run just click on this run like how we run any integrations now this is a simple integration which i have created just click on run we will get a message that is res success you will get the activity stream like how we get normally while testing any integration now if you click on this observe you will get the past instances whichever you have tested in this you don't have to navigate to the observability and check for the details everything is available over here now you can create the deployment as well over here which we will not touch in this class so like this you can create an integration connection lookup library you can navigate to observability right within this page itself you don't have to navigate anywhere else if you go to the future runs all the scheduled jobs it, it will show over here coming to the audit it will audit all the things whatever has happened in your instance or with or within the project you will get the insight for everything now suppose we have created one project and within the project we are having couple of resources like the integration and the connection now if we go to the our main integration or the global integration page that is under the design integration here we won't find the integration whatever you have created similarly for connections also you won't find so whatever you create within the project remains within the project itself